basically you want to communicate uh, while asleep to, to your phone while driving without actually um, accessing your phone. Um, so this test is a um, conducted emissions test. So the device will be connected to your um, power from your car. It's going to be powered by your car um, through a USB connection. A USB connection and uh, uh, by five volts. So this test is just to determine whether or not like any electromagnetic energy is being, um, any form of current is being um, pushed back to your power supply. So, um, so this is here is being powered by five volts and the BNC connector is connected to the oscilloscope. Okay. So the device is on right now and this is basically like the normal activity of it um, being read through here. So okay, so um now I'm gonna put on my Bluetooth on my phone. Um Janine that's the name of the device. I'm gonna connect it. Hopefully it'll connect, right? Connect. Cool. So now that um the device is connected to my phone through Bluetooth, I should be able to answer um answer or hang up calls through the device. So Iran would call me. Yeah, so okay. Yes, until we get it. Uh, should call here. So, yes. Call. And this was just touch sensitive type of system. Yeah. Pressing yeah, button. Pressing button. Yeah, sorry. Right? So, it's calling. And you want to pay attention to the screen to see um, if it make any activity while the unit is in um, use. So, I press the button and it just answers the call. Right for me. So, um, and I'm going to press the button again and hang up the call. So, as you can see, like, from our eye, from the eye can see that it wasn't much change in um, from actually using the device and the normal it just being on. So um, basically, we derived that there wasn't much any um, electromagnetic energy going back to the um, power supply. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um so this is essentially the conducted emissions test. And um, so we did use this and pass the test according to the standard. The change that's supposed to uh, uh, the maximum change in voltage that should occur should be I believe one thousand microvolts. Mm -hmm. Right. It was one thousand microvolts. And since there was no significant change in terms of the power and we cannot detect with the eye such um, such changes that would reach that level, we did use that it passed the uh, the conducted emissions test. So, yeah, so I guess that's the conducted emissions test. Right. So now this is essentially like this test um, ring for someone else. Okay. So in terms of let's say you're building your own, you create yeah, your own, own test, your own. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, is it that you would buy a system like this and set it up to test it, or you could set up your own thing? And you could set up your own. Or the, 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 the point of it was that you could, you know, with the compliance system, it's so expensive to send to send in your stuff to be graded, and you're not even sure if it um it will pass. So this is something that you can build at home and test it like pre like a pre test before you um, make that step and invest in getting your um, products approved.